Congratulations on being elected president. This is an honor which includes duty to help your club. Hi, I'm Natalie, a Cabarrus County 4-H'er, here to help you learn more about serving as president. The officer folder for your position will assist you in learning your duties. Officer folders are available for pickup at the Cabarrus County 4-H office for pickup. Work with your 4-H club leader to make arrangements for all of your officers to get their folders. Let's talk a bit about what it means to be a president and how you can rise to this leadership challenge. First off, you should know the 4-H pledge. HEAD stands for clear thinking and decision making, knowledge that is useful throughout life. HEART stands for greater loyalty, strong personal values, positive self-confidence, and concern for others. HAM stands for larger service, workforce preparedness, useful skills, science, and technology literacy. HEALTH stands for better living and healthy lifestyles. Let's talk about the duties of the president. The president presides at all club meetings, uses parliamentary procedures, and votes in the case of a tie. Normally, presidents don't vote on motions. The president is also responsible for meeting with leaders before the meeting to plan the agenda and make any needed preparations. The president may delegate club members to do needed tasks on committees. The most important thing for a president is knowing how to run a meeting. Learn, learning parliamentary procedure is a valuable skill. There are lots of videos online about it, but the best way to learn is by attending other meetings. Pay attention to how the president calls the meeting to order. Motions are made and how the meeting is adjourned. Make sure to come to our county council meetings. Join us for district teen retreat and even North Carolina 4-H Congress. We are all learning together, so make sure to ask questions as you participate. There's a basic meeting outline in your folder for you to use. Make sure to talk with your club leader to plan the meeting before actually calling it to order. Here are some tips I've learned along the way. The first one is take advantage of all the opportunities you get to represent your club at meetings of other clubs or organizations. Number two, be sincere in your actions and sympathetic towards the problems of your club members. Number three is maintain your enthusiasm. Don't be disheartened by the disappointments. Club members will affect your attitude. Number four, ask, will you, instead of ordering fellow members around. Number five, keep your temper. If you lose it, you've lost control of the whole situation. Number six, Keep it moving. No one likes downtime and you are in control of how fast the meetings go, but don't rush. Make sure you follow the agenda and talk about everything you need to. Whether this is your first leadership experience or you have served in many other roles, I know you will be great if you keep in mind the 4-H, 4-H motto, make the best better. That means to keep learning by doing and improve each time you do something. Best of luck.